back at it again for the Hebrew Israelites. I'm out here through the spirit of Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? To prophesy the downfall of America, which is known as Babylon, the cradle of the scripture, and it's going to be destroyed in the world war. the wake of my people, the people of Israel, for the twelve tribe of the nation of Israel, and I'm out here for y'all, all right? Going up from a coming concentration camp, which is here in America, all right? The martial law, which is coming here to America, all right? The mark of the beast, which is the microchip, which is also coming here to America. All right? So I'm here to wake up the people of Negro and Indian descent to what's coming to America in these last days. All right? I'm going to start off with a scripture Isaiah 65, verse 2 says I have spread out my hands all the day to a rebellious people all right the Lord our power says he has spread out his hands all the day to a rebellious people all right how he spread out his hands by sending you his servants the prophets all right he sent out his servants to y'all all day understand what I'm saying I spread out my hands all the day for rebellious people. What are rebellious people? You people on this side, the people of Negro and Indian descent. Y'all are the rebellious people. All right, y'all are the rebellious people the Lord is speaking of. Y'all were hearken unto his word. So the Lord sent his prophet out unto his people, right, the children of Israel, and they're rebellious. All right, let's get that in our Ezekiel, the second chapter. Right, this is the rebellious people. Ezekiel 2, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me, and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this day. Alright, so the rebellious children, the rebellious house, is the children of Israel. And y'all transgress, we all transgress against the Lord our power unto this very day. This very day in America, y'all still transgressing against the Lord. Understand? Y'all hate the word of the Lord. And the Lord is the Lord loved y'all so much that he sent out his servants, the prophets, to y'all. But y'all will not hearken. Y'all ain't gonna hearken. Understand? You put all your money in your 401k. Alright? That's 
gone. You're putting your money in your retirement. That's gone. See, but you think you know everything. You know everything. Your 401k is going to be there for you. Your retirement plan is going to be there for you. Understand? Now look at the condition you're in. All right? You can't get your 401k or your retirement plan. Look what's going on. All right? Proverbs 2 verse 7. Be not wise in thy own eyes. The Lord said, be not wise in your own eyes. All right? Be not wise in your own eyes. Why? Because your heart is deceitful among all things. All right? You read it again. Proverbs 2 verse 7. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. All right? So fear the Lord and depart from evil. Understand? That's how I'm here to tell y'all now. Repent and return to the Lord our power. Fear the Lord. Right? Be not wise in your own eyes. But that's going to lead it to destruction. All right? That's what uh, Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. Understand? 
Because look at it. Man got control of the world now. And look at the condition of the world. All right? Man got control of the world and look at the condition of it. You, right? You damn Edomites have control of the world and look at the condition that, that it's in. Because why? Esau is a proud man. He go after his own ways, his own thoughts, and do what he want to do, how he see fit. And look at the condition of the world it's in. Huh? The air is polluted, the water polluted, 